The Grammy nominees happened last week. Yes. Um, as always, there are snubs, there are surprises, there are people who do not deserve being listed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every year. Okay. That always happens. Yeah. Right? Like, I don't know. This year, I looked through the list. I was like, wow. Like, I feel like I was kind of, not that I thought that this year was a bad music year, mm-hmm. but after seeing the list, I was like, wow, this was actually like a great music year. There was a lot of strong contenders. Who, it was. Who led Reggie? Um, Beyonce has 11 nominations and aside from her leading the nominations this year well January 2025 Grammys she now is the most nominated artist of all time with 99 wow, wow. that's pretty crazy that's amazing clap it yes. up okay so and she clap. has the most Grammy wins of all time uh, so clap it up god damn so the card is happy this year huh yes so, so we're not gonna get a speech from him this year we good oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know because if they don't win, yeah, because because when Jay Z yeah, yeah. did that speech about her, um, she was like heavily nominated that year too. But he was just like, "Yo, I think he was like, you guys never give her the big award that really matters." Got which is know. which is usually like album of the year uh, or, or like song, song of the, of the year, year, record of the year. They always Got give her like you. a niche, a more niche like uh Category. genre. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like when our industry le- leaders like start bitching. Nah, for real. Because show the real you. Yeah. I was about to say like show I, the real it's you relatable. Know. I get it. Like, it's relatable when Jay-Z's like, nah, bro, this ain't right. This is not right. This so, is injustice to my wife, who is the greatest of all time to never get this. A great like, husband. I, I respect that. A great husband. Well, I guess they listened to Jay-Z this year because in the category of record of the year, what the fuck? They got the Beatles in here? <laughs> wait, what? Wait. Are we looking at the, the list Be- from 2024? Yeah, the one you 1983. said. 1983. Yo, the Beatles. Oh, wait, now- when, was the Be- when was the Beatles? The Beatles, now and then. It's record of the year I'm reading, guys. Okay. Uh, Beyonce, Texas Hold'em. So she received a nomination. Sabrina Carpenter, Espresso. Charlie XCX, mm, 360. Who is this? Who is that? Pop star. Okay. No, I'm, I'm not being funny. I was no, being serious. No, yeah, no, I, I know. I was being serious. Trust me, I know. Billy Eilish, Birds of a Feather, Pop. Of course, Kendrick Lamar, Not Like Us. Uh, Chappelle, Roan, Good Luck, Babe. And uh, Taylor Swift and Post Malone with Fortnite. Okay. Yeah, that's, All right. that's record. Familiar yeah. names, new names. Yeah. Um, what I will say, because I'm going to speak to the things that I know. Right. What I do know is Andre 3000 should not be nominated for shit. <laughs> that's my dog. That's what yeah. I do know. Yeah. Unless they have, like, Best <laughs> Instrumental Grammy. But... The fact that he has a nomination and what's the category that yeah, he's album nominated? Of the year. Album of the year. Andre 3000 yeah. at New Blunt. Uh, Beyonce's Cowboy Carter, Sabrina Carpenter, Charlie XCX, Jacob Collier, uh, Billie Eilish, Chappelle Roman, and Taylor Swift. Also, the Beatles re-recorded that album. Uh, How? And, I, and they use AI. So that's why it's getting the Grammy. We, we are done. We got dead niggas. Or who, allowed, who allowed this? We are done, y'all. I don't know if... <laughs> Nah. It's your fault. You want the clones. I do. And now they done clone their voice. Clones and they gri- Beatles. I don't got no clone of the Beatles. Shout out to Paul McCartney, though. If I was Paul, I would have just went in there and just tried to copy all my dead homies' voices in there. <laughs> my fault, yeah. I'm sorry. Right. What year were the Beatles popping? I think it was like 60s. It had to be like 60s. 60s? Okay. Yeah, it had 60s. to be. Yeah. My parents wasn't even born. Wasn't even a thought. That's crazy. But, Yeah. Andre 3000, right. um, he was somebody who I was referring to when I was like, yeah, I don't know if he really deserved that. Because I think he just, he made a passion project. And that's fine. And it's mm-hmm. cool. And I'm sure it resonated with some people. But it was, it's not, nah, bro. Nah. There's a lot of artists who work really hard to yeah. get that look, right? He has actually said, I'm retiring. <laughs> like, he retired. And they like, nah, come back to the game. <laughs> Like, they're not allowing him to retire <sighs> because anything he farts on is like, oh, we're going to praise it. And I wasn't really feeling that. Yeah, I think we're all thinking the same thing. We're all thinking like, <laughs> hmm. you know, we all love Andre 3000. He's literally a genius. But why is this album nominated? Hey, you know? all, with all due respect, I love 3K. That is my guy. He actually just put out a song recently and he put like a hidden verse in there. I, I don't know what he's saying. I can't decipher it. Anyway, I say all that to say... um, yeah, I'm with Savon on this one. <laughs> nah, nah, he ain't. This is not supposed to be. Because you want to know what it is? <laughs> no, well, honestly. Yeah. Because I heard him admit that he don't even know the notes he's playing. He just. <laughs> Wait, I'm, what? I'm serious. Go look it up. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, I remember when y'all, did y'all have to take recorder class? I, yeah. I remember the recorder. Y'all remember the I recorder? I played the flute, too. Mm-hmm. I remember the yeah. recorder. And you had, wait, you did, you what? I, I played the flute, too. They Proudly? said. I thought yeah. it was the broke flute. Nah, I they, know no they said, I played the flute, too, in band. 
But here's the, this this is how they got that was, me. I don't like the undertones of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. But they basically said if you could blow on the top of a oh, uh, shit. On, on top of a bottle and it makes the sound, then you could play the flute. How you did that though? I don't have a bottle. I'd show you, but I don't have a bottle. Here. We got something in the studio. I just I wanna see like how you was able to get that role you are, in your life. You are an interesting man, Sebo. <laughs> Yeah, you want to see Pierre perform, man. <laughs> nah, but he did. I just want to know, like, <laughs> you see how, did, how did you, like, what the, f- like, I used to hate my recorder because <laughs> my shit always had so much spit in there. Ew. Yeah. Ugh. Sloppy. Like, That's nasty. <laughs> I wasn't playing correctly, right? Nah. Ugh. I, don't, I, don't think I knew you, it wasn't for me. Your tongue motion wasn't given. Nah. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't caught up now. <laughs> Pause on the play. You're not supposed to use your tongue on the. It's what playing the fuck, say, man? I don't want to listen to the you shit. Know. You're not know. licking your recorder? <laughs> That's what it sounded like Andre 3000 was doing. <laughs> oh, he, he got the bougie recorder. Yo. And nah. he just went in the studio. And like you said, he just was getting it off. It was a passion project. I don't think it should be here, personally. But I know there's mad other people that we could highlight, <laughs> should highlight. But I just had to get that off my chest because I'm like, yo, dude, and, what the fuck? And not for nothing. As I'm looking at his category, I already stated it. Beyonce might finally win that category. Well, Which she category? got uh, album of the year. She got to deal with Sabrina Carpenter, though. Ooh. Yeah, that's a heavy hitter right there. Sabrina Carpenter can pr- probably win like a pop category, okay, but then like, she's up against Billy in mm. the Billy Eilish. The Prince of a Fender. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> That's the pop off right yeah, there. It's a, a oh okay, the oh. pop off Ooh. in all the categories. So I don't know. We have some heavy contenders. And speaking of the pop off, yeah. not like us is is nominated multiple times. Yeah. So he might actually win a Grammy off of Not Like Us, which is kind of crazy. What's the bar, Reggie? What? Kendrick oh, just opened his mouth. So I'm having my Grammy, Grammy right now. <laughs> It's real. It's, it's a little bit of truth to it. It's a little bit of truth to it. Like, there are darlings in this Grammy shit, in this industry shit. And yeah. clearly, Andre 3000 is one. He farts and is Grammy nominated. And obviously, I do think it deserves it, the Kendrick nod. I, I do oh, think yeah, he's deserving sure. of it. Yeah. So I don't want to play into, like, the whole Drake, oh, because Kendrick said something, he's going to get a Grammy. No, like, what he did, like, I, I, I you could easily say this is the... The most popular diss song of all time. Mm-hmm. I don't want to get into like the semantics of the greatest. That's subjective. Oh, tough, yeah. That's but you can't deny the impact that has had. Yeah. Like I saw the Sacramento Kings owner of the Sacramento Kings was wearing a shirt that said "Not Like Us" because of the Drake and I the Demar that. Derozan kind of tension that they had and, after the Toronto game. And not for nothing, back to back from Drake was nominated for a Grammy. It was. Yeah, so okay. oh, yeah. it just didn't win. No, I don't think it won. Yeah. I don't I don't yeah. I feel like we wouldn't know if it won. Yeah. But fact check me sure. on that. We could he, be wrong. That would have been emphatic. And I don't think he has a bunch of Grammy wins. Drake hasn't really had a great relationship with the Grammys in mm-hmm. the last few years. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, he didn't submit any music this year. Oh, okay, because I was gonna bring up I was like, where's Drake in the nominations? But I guess wait, did he we know that he officially didn't submit anything? Yeah. Okay. He did not submit anything this okay. year. How much do you think Kendrick really hates Drake? We saw that all throughout the no, season. Like, still, I think no, no, it's no, pretty. No. I, think, I don't think there's a word in the dictionary to describe how much he really deeply hates his. Okay, he don't really because like, you could have just let the song do what it does. You didn't have to submit it to the Academy. No, if I'm Kendrick, <laughs> I'm submitting it. I'm winning it. all. The, I'm sweeping the, all the awards well, I can. He like submitted I'm Euphoria. finishing the job. He did, like, as he should. Euphoria is my favorite song of the battle. Uh, it probably is. The best, yeah. I think it may be the best song. Am I the it. only one? I feel like people also didn't like when I said this. When I said it at first, I I feel like Family Matters was the best song out of the entire beef, and I didn't know people didn't agree with that. You know what's funny, Reggie? When people say best song, I think they mean the most palatable song. Mm-hmm. That's what I think they mean by Family yeah. Matters. Like all the people that like that style of rap, which has been like you know very mm-hmm. popular. That beat for Drake, changes. Those beat changes crazy. that Drake is accustomed mm-hmm. yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I and think that's flow. really what they meant. And the flow. Yeah, See, yeah, when you're yeah. four, you really have to use your brain power. <laughs> you had to stupid. decipher. No, my fault, twenty. My fault. Never you. Never you. He, he was really talking on Euphoria. He was like crazy. if we go back. And maybe that's something we could do at the end of the year because that was also a moment for us too. I know a lot of people tapped in with us because of that beef. Like a lot of people discovered I, us I and, and, and stood with us yeah. due to that beef. So I think if we actually recapped it at the end of the year, we would pick up things that we didn't really get a chance to pick up because we was trying to cover it live. Yeah. Like every time they went into the studio, 
We came into the, the studio. studio. <laughs> like, legit. No, I'm I like, God damn. The, I remember one of the our first beef episodes. It was like, guys, like we have to go in tomorrow. Like I know it's a Sunday, but yeah. I feel like this could be big for us. Blah, blah, blah. And then we just kept doing it. Like, yeah, and it paid off too. Yeah, it did, and it, definitely. it definitely paid off. A lot of visibility. Again, a lot of y'all stuck with us because of that. Um, so I wouldn't even be mad at the end of the year when we do like our wrap up episode. Yes. We go back and we tap into like each song or some of the songs that kind of resonated with us because Euphoria is. Is probably up there with one of the greatest diss songs of all time. You want to hear something? Personally, you want to hear something funny? What's up, what's up So during the fifty eighth Grammy, the same award that Drake was nominated for, Kendrick won that. The back to back year, it was all right. Kendrick won that was all right. Oh, oh shit! Like was it like best rap song? I, uh, oh, yeah. Oh man. Damn. Yeah, they hate each other, yo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hate. Yeah, they hate each other, yo. This hate. Damn. That's crazy. Back-to-back. 